Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to install Windows 11 any unsupported devices with the help of CMD and using DISM command. So you just need to follow me. So before install Windows 11 on your SSD or hard drive, make sure that you have connected a proper SSD or hard drive to your PC and after that follow my steps. So at first you need to download Windows 11 OS for that you just need to go to your browser and search on Google Windows 11 download so type Windows 11 uh, download and go to this first link download Windows 11 and here's a Microsoft official website as you can see so scroll down a little bit and you will get the download Windows 11 desk image so simply here you just need to select windows 11 and click on download now after that you just need to select the language and click on confirm now click on you can verify your download from here you can download uh, click on the 64 bit download option and you can download it easily on your computer as you can see it is downloading so after download windows 11 you just need to open cmd first so go to your start menu and type cmd now open command prompt after that on, on command prompt you just need to type the command is called disk part so this will so you just need to click on yes so this will open this part window so now here you just need to put some command so type over here list disk it will show you all your disk on your computer this in my case i have three disk as you can see zero one and two this zero one and two so i will right click on my uh, start menu and just go to disk management tool and here you can see so here you can see i have uh, disk zero disk one and this two this two is my external uh, ssd and this zero where i will install the windows 11 and this one is my main uh, drive where i have my windows 11 this computer is running so i have few partition under that uh, desk as you can see so currently i will work with this zero okay so i'll type the command is called select desk zero okay so make sure that you have selected proper disk otherwise it will delete all your files and folder under the drive okay so now as you can see disk uh, zero is selected to confirm you just need to type once again list disk and as you can see before this zero is showing like star that's when this zero is selected okay so now you have to type the command is called clean so it will delete all everything under that uh, drive means uh, disk okay after put the clean command you just need to type list this command and check uh, it is showing gpt or not so in my case as you can see under gpt is not showing like star that's mean it is not gpt so you have to convert it on gpt okay if in your case it is already showing star that's mean it's already converted so i'll type the command is called convert gpt so it will help me to convert this desk to gpt so if i'll type once again list this command as you can see under gpt is showing like star so now it is on gpt so now i will create two partition under that uh this zero one is for boot another one is for my os file where i will install my os okay <clears throat> so now i will type the command is called create partition efi size and equals to 512 mb so this one is for my boot partition only 512 mb is enough for this drive so after create partition you just need to format so for that you just need to type the command is called format fs means file system equals to fat32 file system is fat32 for this drive this partition and then quick after that as you can see disk was successfully formatted so now i will assign the letter for this drive so if i'll type the command is called volume list volume it will show me all the all the volume on my computer and their letter as you can see c d e f g already in used 
as you can see this volume is using this this letter so i'll i have to type something different like i'll assign like assign the command is called assign letter then you just need to type the letter so here's my boot partition so i'll type boot b in my case and after that press enter now if i'll type once again list volume it will show me the, the volume 8 is showing like letter b as you can see which is 512 mb so boot partition is created successfully now i'll create a primary partition for that i type create partition then primary after that press enter so now as you can see created successfully and i'll format this type the command is same only you have to change file system fs equals to this time you have to type ntfs so so this file system will be ntfs for this primary partition so now after ntfs type quick and press enter so now it will take some time so you have to wait for a few seconds after that same way i have to assign the letter so i'll assign i will type assign space letter and this one is os partition i'll type o in caps and after that press enter so as you can see o is successfully created okay and if also if i'll type list volume it will show me the o is created which is 465 gb as you can see so now i'll type the command is called exit and close the cmd now you just need to locate that windows 11 iOS file which you have downloaded from microsoft official website so i have saved it under my ssd so here it is as you can see windows 11 so right click on that iso file windows 11 iso file and click on mount after click on mount if you'll go to this pc means my computer it will show you that drive uh, that mountain drive so mountain drive is h in my case as you can see h letter is h so now what you have to do you just need to simply open your cmd once again right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator click on yes so after open cmd you just need to put some command to check how many version you have on that windows 11 so for that you just need to to check the version you just need to type dism space slash get then minus image info then space slash image file then colon your drive letter mounted drive letter windows 11 mounted drive letter in my case it is h as you can see so i'll type over here h in caps then colon then slash then it will type sources manually then slash install dot wim okay after type this command press enter it will show you all the version uh, that windows 11 have so in my case i will install this windows 11 pro so it is under index 6 as you can see index 5 index 6 index 7 so i'll uh, download uh, install this windows 11 pro index 6 so now what i'll do is i'll put the command is called dism slash apply then minus image then slash space slash image file colon then here you just need to put your drive letter mounted drive letter in my case it is h so i'll put h then colon slash sources then slash install dot wim now you just need to press space then slash now you have to type image index i in caps index and colon then index 6 as you can see index 6 under index 6 windows 11 pro so if you want to uh, install something like different windows 11 home then you have to type windows uh, sorry index 1 okay so in my case i will type over here index 6 after that you just need to press space then slash apply in caps apply dir d in caps dir okay after that colon then your uh os installation drive in my case it is o which i have already created as you can see o so i'll type over here o in caps after that colon so here is the command so i'll press enter from my keyboard and now it will take some time to copy all the files under o drive so you have to wait for a few seconds
So after operation completed successfully, you just need to uh, create the boot drive. For that, you just need to type bcd boot space your uh, waste drive. In my case, it is O. So I'll type O. Then colon slash. You just need to type Windows W in caps Windows. And after that, you just need to press space then slash s. Make sure that you have put it proper directory W in caps. Okay. After S, you just need to press space. Then your boot drive, in my case, it is B as you can see. So I'll type B in caps, then colon, space, slash F, space, all. Okay. Now press enter from your keyboard. Now, as you can see, boot files successfully created. So now you just need to unplug that disk, which you want to install and plug it back to any other computer where you want to install that Windows 11 okay after connect SSD to your new PC or laptop if you'll start the PC it will automatically show you the installation screen after that install it normally and it will successfully install on your new pc so i hope this tutorial really helpful for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below i will see you guys on the next one next video till then bye bye take care